G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I have a video that I've been looking forward to doing for a little while now. I have seen recently that the Cardman 22 has been pumping out some AFL Guernseys redesigning and I love that, I love that idea. It's something that I planned to do uh, middle of last year, but I just didn't get around to doing it. But if you haven't seen Cardi's videos, link down below, link in description, go check them out. But today I thought I would redesign some AFL Guernseys. I want to make alternate kits, whether it's training, whether it's a clash jumper. I just want to make alternate kits. Let's get straight into it. And the first kit that I have redesigned is the Brisbane Lions. I wanted to bring back the old lion. I feel like the old lion is elite. Initially, I had the new lion at the front of the jumper, but scrapped that and brought back the old lion. I did have a design which had white and blue collars and sleeve cuff things, and I thought that looked a little bit too Sandringham Dragons-y. But yeah, that is the alternate kit that I've made for the Brisbane Lions. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. The next jumper I have remade and redesigned is the Fremantle Footy Club. Now this one's probably one of the ones I'm most proud of. I Google searched Fremantle Skyline Silhouette and it came up with that. So I'm not sure if that's what Freo looks like, but I've copied and pasted that one and I've whited it out and I've slapped it on the jumper. I did have a different version of this and it had the club's current monogram slash anchor and I sent it to Druzy and he says nah you need to bring the old anchor back so I did that and I put it to the side just so it fits a little bit better but yeah I could see Andy Brayshaw rocking that I could see uh Adam Chera rolling around in this sort of kit I think this is a good training top potentially I'm not sure if it's white enough for a clash top in the AFL but that is my Freo alternate kit all right here we go the next jumper that I have redesigned is the Geelong Football Club Obviously, I brought back the cat, but gotten rid of the rest of the hoops. Put blue up on the shoulders. I put this gray gradient in the middle. So half their chest is gray and it sort of fades off into the bottom sort of right flank. Then half of it is white. I didn't like just the white. I thought it was a bit boring. So I chucked the gray in and I like it. I am fond of gray kits. When the D's had a gray one, it was a bit of an ugly design, but I liked it. I don't mind the powers gray. There's a lot of gray kits that I don't despise, but that's my Geelong kit. And that's potentially one of my favorite so maybe that's just a training Guernsey or maybe a pre-season one. But I like it. I can see the cats running around in something like this. The next one is going to divide opinion and shock the world a little bit. So I apologize for being so outrageous in my artistic abilities. I have made the GWS Clash <laughs> alternate kit. <laughs> I sent this to the boys. <coughs> And they were a little bit uneasy with it, but I like it. I think a color that matches orange really well is a blue. A gray does as well, but like a light sky blue, I can goes with orange so beautifully. And I think as a new sort of club, the Giants haven't quite had a traditional footy jumper. So I thought giving a traditional sash and more of a traditional looking jumper, but also have the colors be more white so they could use it in a clash type environment was going to put a big G on the front, but I thought that that looked a little bit too much like what they normally do. So I put the giant sign and yeah, I was stuffing around with white cuffs and white shoulder, but um, I settled with the orange. As silly as that looks, I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. It's one of my favorite ones. So uh, let me know what you think about my new GWS Giants alternate top. Surprise, surprise. The next team I did was the D's. I love this kit. It's very similar to one we've had recently. We've had a red one with the MFC monogram. I don't think we've had the red and the blue gradient on the jumper. I think it's either just been red or white, but I wanted to bring a bit of red and blue into it. Uh, there's no traditional V. I like the red collar and I like the white on the um, on the cuffs and also on the flank. Uh, the monogram is one of my favorite designs. Obviously it's in our logo and it's just a beautiful <laughs> design i absolutely love it the mfc don't think that this would be a clash top because it's probably not wide enough potentially in a way 
but probably more a training top. I love stuffing around with the designs. I love our home kit and I love all home kits and I don't like messing around with home kits too much, but that's my Melbourne Footy Club kit. All right, I've said a couple of these jumpers already are my favorite, but this Port Adelaide one is up there. It's a little bit sketchy. I found it hard to recreate the bars up the top of the jumper. That proved to be quite difficult. All those mistakes aside, I think the general gist is pretty good. I've kept the powers V, which they have at the moment, and I put the prison bars in, but it's not too prison bar-y like Collingwood. I'm a big fan of jumpers with the V. Obviously, you know, the D's have it, the power have it, Freo have it. Um, I, I do like the V look. I think it's a really classic football jumper look. So to incorporate it here, but in a traditional slash clash instance is really, really exciting. I love the white cuffs once again. Um, there's no flank down the side. The V has the teal, it's got the white, but it's got the prison bars involved. I was considering putting the PA down the bottom, but I chose against that. But yeah, really content with my Port Adelaide potentially clash top. As I'd say, it's the, the clash top. Anyway, guys, I don't want to harp on too long just in case you were bored, but if you enjoyed this video and you liked the alternate AFL jumpers, let me know if you want me to do another one. I'm keen to knock over all teams if you guys are interested. Once again, if you want to see this sort of video, it's been done before by the Cardman22. His videos are down below in the description. Get around Cardi. He's doing some great things. All right, guys, I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone watching. Let me know what sort of clubs you want me to do next, and I'll give them a whirl. Cheers, guys.